So what is our responsibility? Should the UK take in more migrants? Well, rejoin now by poet and broadcaster Len Sisse and um, by journalist and columnist Angela Epstein. Uh, Yasmin, let me begin with you. Have we done enough to no. help the migrants in Calais? No, we haven't. And uh, when uh, Cameron was in power, he said we would take 4,000. That was about 18 months ago. And we haven't taken any of those. But the children are the biggest worry. And some of them actually have relatives here. Some of them have homes to come to. And many Syrians I know, particularly Syrian families, have offered to foster these children. So I don't understand how we can sign up to a treaty, which we're signed up to, on, let's not talk about migrants, we're talking about refugees. People from Syria, most of them, well, we know they're refugees by the basic definition of what refugees are. Peter. We need to get them over. Peter, have we done enough? Well, they're not refugees by the basic definition of what refugees are because they long ago reached a safe country in the shape of Turkey. Uh, what they became when they left Turkey and, tr and tried quite reasonably, I don't, uh, I, I don't in any way denigrate their ambitions to, to move to a, to a more prosperous part of the world, but what they became when they left Turkey was migrants and they seek to come here. Now there are legal ways of coming to this country and it involves applying for entry in, under legal forms and you can do that or you can, go and, you can go and set up an illegal camp in France and put moral pressure on states to let you in what if you're without, and let, let you in and let you jump what, the queue. What, this is unfair you, on the people who, who have gone through the process properly. What about legally. the children? Not taken. Well, sorry, Yasmin, let me just ask sorry. this. Let me just ask no, this. I'm sorry, the, I do have to contradict children? you. What about the children who yeah. are fleeing from Syria, who are fleeing from violence and persecution well, they, in their again, country, they, and they're in this camp, in the, the so-called well, jungle? Why are they there? Why are they... Because they fled Why are they in this place, which is known to be dangerous and squalid and violent? It's their fault. How did they get there? How did I they think, get there? I think the thing is that, I think, that, look, anybody with a, with a shred of humanity would, would weep bitterly at the sight of any child in particular, the most vulnerable in society, being in this desperate situation. And of course our, our knee-jerk moral response is that we have to help. But we have to have a managed response. Now, for example, there's a lot of talk about the, the, the comparisons with the kinder transport when the British government um, offered refuge to um, uh, Jewish children um, fleeing during the Second World War, but even then, some kind of surety had to be offered either by private individuals or organisations to, to act as a guarantor for the children that came here. Now, these children were fleeing from desperate circumstances. Exactly. Nobody is suggesting that, um, you know, children should be left to fend for themselves. And I agree with Peter. Um, Turkey, or, or from where they come from, from Syria and beyond, is a very long way from Calais. Um, and certainly from a, a kind of cultural position, if somebody is to be in that terrible position of to become a refugee, which is different from being an economic migrant, obviously, a different, different kind of argument, Surely there needs to be some placement in a country that is somehow culturally more similar so that even if that is for a, a short space of time, the reabsorption oh will be better Lennon. afterwards. Are we saying now that, that, that people who flee or want to go to another country, we have to determine which countries they go to and no, what I'm culture is be relevant for to them? Because what might be better? People have they been migrating Jews since... Were people aliens. Have always Please let them speak. People have always migrated. I migrated uh, the moment I came out of my mother's womb from, from, from there into the open air. Migration is at the heart of who we are as natural human beings and my patriotism, my love of being British, I was born here in the villages of Lancashire, is, is exemplified uh, by how open I am to people coming to this country. I, That's I, a different I, conversation I'm, there. I, I'm strengthened. Uh, by people coming to this country, not weakened. Country, that's countries, a, that's a countries do not have a limitless a capacity. Well, what is, to, what is the limit? To, to absorb Peter, migrants. Peter, what is that limit? I would say the, li your, I would, I would say the limit, if you, if you ask the question, I'll answer it. I would say the limit is defined by, by the, what, what we can take in the, in the form of housing, uh, of employment, in public services, in health services, in schools, and also, and this is very important, in our ability to absorb. When people come from other cultures, they will absorb and, and integrate if they're given the chance to do so. But if there is a constant flow, flow
If there is a constant flow of migration, then it is much harder for existing migrants to integrate and for the country to integrate them. And indeed, many of the people who are most concerned about the level of migration this country is currently undergoing are people who've migrated here in the past and see their own position. Can we talk about made refugees? Worse by it. We're talking about refugees. We're talking about refugees. No, we're not talking. No, we've established me, we're not talking about say, refugees. Can we're I talking talk about, about migrants. We're talking about well, refugees. Well, actually, actually, we are. Actually, we are. Address my point. We're talking about refugees. Address my point. Can I talk? Why? Why? Why, Peter, why, why are they Peter, refugees? I need to talk. Why, why are they refugees? I need to Don't talk. Don't shout. So do I. Don't I shout. Do. So no, do I. Let's have say. equality about this. Why are they refugees? Yas Yasmin is okay. respondi responding. I am responding. We, no, uh, more people, the more people, and actually when Jewish people came, let me remind you, all the papers said there were aliens. The word alien came into use when the Jewish people were coming Let's over. Talk about okay? the so the what's refugees the point are when your cultural point. But no, 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 I don't, you're, 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 you're not making any sense children. by saying that. We have you're not, not as sense. Alf Dubbs has said consistently and persistently, we have not taken the refugees that we absolutely, as a European-wide, whether we're in the EU, EU or not, absolutely have a responsibility to take and the government has, the government has vowed and they to have take said yes and they have Syria not taken them and that's the point they have not taken them but that's we are the breaking point. our word you know yasmin uses the word responsibility and i think it is key to the whole discussion and you're absolutely right we we're, we're, we're talking about refugees we're using words like crisis and responsibility we're not talking about economic migrants yeah. as peter said looking for for prosperity in other countries we talk about a moral responsibility but with responsibility comes the ability to be able to provide accordingly and if you don't have a managed response as i said or the protocol in place then it's all very well saying that cameron and you're absolutely right he did promise and that promise hasn't been honored but there has to be the structure in place before we go about and and whose, fault is the managed, whose fault is the managed response like if we if we if we have refugees come in here and there isn't a managed response why are we blaming the refugees and why are we, well, we calling our, absolutely why are we so blaming the refugees? calling our government to account calling the uh, education system to account calling the children's services to account those are the people who we should be those are the places where we should be asking me, to people, provide people we should be people. blaming are, amongst other things our own government which is created by several unnecessary ah, and stupid so wars the conditions under which people yeah. are fleeing from Afghanistan from, uh, from 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 Syria and Iraq and also through Libya where we destroyed the existing government. That there is a very heavy responsibility on our government and on those who supported the okay, I, I, but that's the, the but, but they, they are not refugees once they have reached a safe country. Let's find out what our viewers are saying. Um, we're talking about whether or not we're doing enough to help the migrants in Calais. You've been having reactions coming in as well. Tommy, I understand from all the, the other subjects we've been talking about this Yeah, you said it was going to be a meaty one. It yeah. has been, really has been. There's been lots of sympathy for immigrants as well, but lots of people saying what kind of stretch is it going to be putting on the resources here in the UK? So should we take in more migrants? Migrants? No, says Nicola. Our social services are under huge stress already. We have kids in the UK that go hungry and live in poverty, so we need to help them. Uh, Billy says, yes, we have taken hardly in any uh, um, in migrants. Our country is partly responsible for the Iraq war, and this is one of the consequences. Elizabeth saying, of course we should take them in. They are children in need of stability. The question that needs to be asked is, what sort of people turn away children in desperate need? And Julie says, no, we shouldn't take in any more migrants. Our country has plenty of people who are born and bred here that need our help. Charity should begin at home. And finally, Robert says, can we all please put our stupid ignorance aside and just help these kids already? I'm sure some of the... Jasmine will agree with you. Uh, absolutely, Jasmine. I just want to pick up with you because um, France is a safe country. The, yes. the, the, yes. the, children in, the children in Calais, they'd be safe there. But they have families here. The 350 of them, as Alf Dubb has said, have family connections to this country. And how can we have a refugee policy? And I agree with you that, you know, when, we, when families are able to vouch for those children and look after them, what is holding this back? We have not done our duty by them. Angela. Well, the other thing I was going to say, I know that this is kind of a curveball here, we have a, an overburdened foreign aid budget. Why don't we spend it on helping 
I mean, this is a foreign situation, if you like, mm. in a broader sense. I mean, th there has to be there has to be money in the pot to do this. We're spending money uh, to, you know, we're sending money to India, which has a space program. I know that's often used as an as an example of that. Um, but we have to have some kind of protocol. And if the husbandry is there and it can be done properly, but, then but, uh, Angela, we do, and it's one of the, the very few things I praise this government over is that it does actually yeah. spend a large amount of money on helping refugees from the Syrian war near to where they their homes are us in the hope that they can come home, which is a, a much more sensible thing than what, we cu what we're currently yeah. doing, which is encouraging people smugglers and, and falling for their okay. public relations. Me, if the entire jungle, if the entire jungle emptied t t tonight and everybody in it came to Britain, within three weeks it would be there again in the same place. Okay, let people me, smugglers we, carry on sending Peter, people there. I've the pride myself let on me, being. Let me, we have 30 seconds. I'd like final thought from you. Um, I've pride myself on being British and I pride myself on our openness and the fact that uh, we have constantly had uh, uh, immigration in this country. It's part of what keeps us alive and healthy. Thank you very much for your thoughts. Um, Lemmy, Peter, Angela, Yasmin and to all of you today.